Hi everybody, so today I'm going to make uh, and share with you my go-to salad dressing and I love this dressing, it's uh, yeah, it's the one I usually will do most days and I'm going to make it low fat version, um, the base is tahini but it's also courgettes as well so um, if you don't want to have it at low fat you can um, just not have the uh, courgette and just have more tahini so it's really simple um and it's just it's so lovely it's such a nice flavor and yeah i just i just love it so it's really simple so first of all i would just be putting in my courgette so these courgettes here where i've been using my spiralizer you and anyone who obviously you make zoodles you end up having these little ends that you don't really know what to do with. So I don't like to waste anything. So for me, I save these little end bits and I just put them in there so then they can end up being um, used as my, for my dressing. So it's perfect because there's one thing that I just, just waste. I just don't want to waste. So this is the great thing on this raw vegan lifestyle. Like I don't waste anything. I've got a dehydrator either, or they can get frozen. So yeah, it's, it's great. Nothing goes to waste. Um, and then dates. So um, I've got my dual dates here. So I will be putting in two good size medjool dates. I mean, if you don't have medjool dates, you can, another, you've got the smaller dates, just add, add extra. But two medjool dates should be plenty with that. They're good size. And then I will have uh, one garlic. Uh, clove. I know not, some people aren't great with garlic, so just take it out if, um, if you don't like it, but I do like it in this recipe. Um, and if you want more garlic, have more. And then uh, for the spice, I've got cayenne and I've got smoked paprika. So I'm just going to pop this in here. And, you know, the cayenne, depending on how hot you want it, you know, just uh, add more or less. Um, and then I will then put in one lemon and then just squeeze that. And I, I, this little gadget that I bought, it is the best thing I've bought. Like, I was like squeezing lemons and then try to catch the seeds and they were going everywhere. And I was having to, as I say that, I just dropped the other seeds in there. Uh, typical. Um, and yeah, just having to wash my hands after, after squeezing lemon all the time because I use a lot of lemon. And when I bought this gadget, I was just like, oh my God, this is just like the best thing. So I recommend it if you use a lot of lemon. And I feel like I get more of the lemon juice out as well. So, um, and then just gonna rinse that. And then I am literally just gonna put in, now I, you don't need a lot of tahini. This is organic tahini I've got, 100% organic. Uh, you don't actually need a lot. It, the flavour with everything else goes... I mean, you don't even need to add tahini. You can try it without. It is really good without as well, but I just I do like to add the tahini. So for me personally, I am just going to add like two teaspoons. That's all I really need. Maybe a tiny bit more because this is a small teaspoon. But yeah, that's, that's all I add. And it is really good without the courgette. It's amazing. And it tahini is amazing on its own with just um lemon and a little bit of water uh i, I mean because tahini is great but that is all i will put in now we'll have a tiny uh little bit of splash of apple cider vinegar and then just splash there and then i'm going to put in some water I always use my distilled water and I would literally just put in a tiny bit of salt, not a lot and that is it and then I'm just going to, I'm going to use my Nutribullet, just double check, there's no seeds in there because I did drop one, there's a little cheeky one there. And then I literally will just put this on and then just blitz it. Okay, so once that's blitzed, I'm just going to check how thick it is. 
And this is where it's, re where it's really great with adding the courgette because it just makes it go a lot further, makes it a lot thicker. So you're getting a lot more, and well, you're getting all the health and the nutrients from the um, courgette as well, but it just makes it go a lot further and, and it's like a good base to thicken it up as well instead of just loading it with more tahini, which I, you know, I do like tahini, but I don't like to have too much of it, so that's why I tend to bulk it up with the with the courgette. So for me, this is a little thick, so I want it to be more like a like a dressing. So I'm going to add more water. So I'd always put a little bit of water in first, just to kind of get an idea, um, and then you can like loosen it and thin it up, and then just. Check where you are with that. Yeah, and that's perfect. So you want to still have that creamy thickness. You don't want it too watery, because I do like to have it that, that creaminess there. And then literally you just pour this all over your salad. And to make a decent salad, you have to have a decent dressing. So um, yeah, that's that is my um yeah, my amazing low fat heeny. Uh, salad dressing um, yeah I hope you found that useful and for more uh, of my recipes you can go to Syra my high priestess um, on Instagram and for my other services you can go to my website uh, where I, I am a doula healer and tarot reader and I've got a, a section on there around my journey to raw food and how I uh, yeah came upon that journey so uh, I hope this has been useful and you feel inspired to make this as well if you do please comment below thank you